What's going on guys, it's your average consumer, and today we're gonna be checking out the front row camera. Now this is supposed to be a life capturing, entirely new design take on the camera, and I've got some really interesting ideas on how I wanna put it through its paces today, but huge shout out to Front Row for sponsoring today's video, and I'm gonna be giving away one to one of you guys, so if you're interested in that giveaway, definitely check the links down below in the description. So real quick, here's what you get in the box. You've got your paperwork, a clip mount, you also get a USB type C cable with a USB A adapter, so that's awesome. And you also get a lanyard because this is a wearable. So you'll be able to throw the front row right onto this. And it even comes with this little attachment so that you can use your own chain if you want. Tons of different ways to wear the actual camera itself. But yeah, this is the front row. So a little bit about this guy. You've got an eight megapixel wide angle main camera and you've also got a front facing five megapixel camera for selfies and live streaming. But I've heard some really good things about this screen, so I'm gonna power this guy on and see what that looks like. This is actually a really nice looking display and it's really responsive. It's running its own version of Android, so that makes sense. But taking a look around the device, you'll notice up top that you'll have a media button. So with one press, you'll be able to snap a photo. With a long press, you'll be able to record some video and a double tap will start the story mode. So if you're wondering what story mode is, the front row will essentially take pictures throughout the entire day and create a time lapse for you so you can go back later and see all the cool things that you did. So like I said, I've got a lot of cool stuff planned for this guy. So let's jump into that. All right guys, so right here, I've got a prototype of something called a scooter board. Now, I don't know how to ride this very well, so I'm probably gonna be shaking like crazy, but the front row cameras have optical image stabilization as well as electronic image stabilization. So we're gonna see how that comes into play here and if we can get some really smooth video even though I'm about to kill myself. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> As you can see, I'm still trying to learn this thing. How is it? Uh, I've done better on <laughs> other things, but like not so bad, but uh, it's fun though. It's it fun though. Like it's, a, it's a smooth ride. So right now I've got the perfect subject behind this. I'm gonna take a couple of pictures and selfies with it, which is gonna be pretty easy. All I gotta do is hit that media button and then I'll feel a haptic feedback whenever it takes the picture. So let's get some cool shots. All right, so to take the picture, all I have to do is hit the media button. Boom, got the shot. And now I'm gonna take a selfie here. Boom. And there's even a gallery. So if you wanna check out what you just shot, just swipe to the right and you can see everything that you captured all in one spot. And you, it even breaks it down into videos, uh, time lapses or stories and just photos and some of your favorites. So you got a lot of options there. And if you swipe down, you can even see how much storage you used. So we spent some time with the front row camera, did a ton of testing, and I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. The image stabilization was good, but sometimes it did get a bit shaky depending on how I moved with it around my neck. But thankfully it came with a clip and it is magnetic, so I was able to mount it on quite a few different things. And even being on my electric skateboard, I was able to get some really smooth footage when I had it mounted to my shoulder strap of my backpack. And I even spent quite a bit of time on story mode. Like I mentioned earlier, this mode is when the camera captures a ton of pictures throughout your day and automatically creates a time lapse of your day. And it even has a story editor that allows you to edit, shorten, or remove certain clips before you go ahead and post it on social media. And story mode was actually pretty cool. It was awesome to be able to look back and see my full day with this thing. And it has a nice little feature where it uses an accelerometer and the optical image stabilization to make sure that it's taking pictures at the best and optimal moment. And even though it's doing all of that, you don't really have to worry about battery so much because it has a USB type C connector that allows for really quick charging. So even though me and Ari were shooting a ton of stuff, while we were visiting these homes. Between those visits, I was able to juice up whenever we got inside the car. And one of the key features of the front row actually happens to be live streaming. I feel like almost everybody is live streaming these days and front row actually allows for a pretty hands-free experience for streaming to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you follow me on Twitter, you probably caught the Periscope that I did when I was testing it out on the camera. The cameras are definitely good enough for live streaming. And if you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, to places where I most likely will go live in the future, you better be sure to go do that. I'll have my links down below. 
at your average consumer. It's pretty simple. And of course, it did regular things like take photos and videos pretty well, and you can review content from the front row and even hear the audio you recorded since it has a built-in speaker. Using the back camera to take a selfie was nice since it's a wide angle, and it also senses you taking a picture in that mode and automatically sets a three second timer, so taking any photos were pretty simple. Checking photos and content was pretty easy too because of the app. You can see everything you took from the front row on a larger screen through the app, and you can also make stories, save your photos onto the device, and even start up a live stream on your front row right from your phone. You basically get complete remote control of the front row right from the app. Overall, I think the front row is pretty cool, and it's so rare these days to see a gadget that does something a bit different than everyone else, but if you guys wanna get your hands on it, definitely check the links down below in the description. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.